Well, state police say it was a single vehicle crash that ended deadly after their SUV collided with a culvert. Well, when I pulled up at the lights, I saw a car down in the ditch and it was smoking. Richard Borges was driving down Pelham Road in Salem when he saw a white SUV in the woods next to the exit two off ramp. He said he and others pulled over to check on the car after seeing the smoke and found three people inside. I tried to smash the window. I couldn't do it. Uh, I picked up something from the ground and then somebody stopped and they come out with an old battery and they smashed the rear window. They called 911 for help. Police say their preliminary investigation shows that the car was traveling down the off ramp when the Kia Sportage went off the road towards the woods and hit a culvert. The driver, 71 year old Rodney Dorov of Pelham, and the two passengers, 70 year old Ann Dorov of Pelham and 45 year old Lazana Alexander of Salem, were pronounced dead at the scene. This now brings the total number of deaths on New Hampshire roadways to 127 people killed so far in 2024, with more than a month left in the year. That that is the same number of those killed in crashes for all of 2023. 146 people died in crashes in 2022. Back in Salem, the off-ramp was closed for four hours as officials mapped the area by drone. The car was towed from the scene around 6 p.m. just before opening the off-ramp back up. Borges says it's a moment he won't forget. It's sad, very sad. Uh, I was sick to my stomach, very, very sad. And the investigation into what caused this deadly crash is active and ongoing. Police ask anyone with any information to give them a call. We're live in Bedford tonight. Kelly O'Brien, WMUR News 9.